In our last lesson, we created a SQLite database. In this lesson, we're going to do the basic database operations. Create, update, and delete. We're going to use the SQLite connection, and I should mention that there are a couple of references that you'll need in using that connection. There's MonoData SQLite and MonoData TDS, and you may have to add those references to your project. In addition, we have some using statements. So back to our insert data. We create a SQLite connection using our database path, and we create a SQLite command. We set the command's connection equal to our connection object, and we open the connection, and we create our insert statement SQL. You'll note that the statement uses some parameter values, so we can rerun that same statement a couple of times and put in different values for those parameters. We set our command's command text equal to that SQL, and we set our command type equal to text. And then we start adding parameters for each one of the required input parameters for first name, last name, and state. And we put in the values for those three. And finally, we execute the command non-query. And that will run the insert statement with the parameters. Just do that again so we end up with two rows of data. So that's all there is to the insert. After we've done that, we just make sure to close the connection and dispose of it. After we've inserted the data, that little Prove It button did a read, and it created a connection in the same way, and we have a SQL statement and a command. Created the command slightly differently. The effect was the same. We just used a different constructor. And we have the same kind of command type, command type text, and we open the connection in the same way. But now we're going to use a SQL reader, and this is very similar to the data reader that you may be familiar with from ADO.net. It's a read-only sequential reader so it will read one record at a time. On our command, we execute the reader to get the reader, and then we tell it to read. And it will read in our while loop until it returns a null, which means we're out of records. We just get the values for each one of the fields, and we're putting them into a string. And that fills up from text proof. And finally, we take care of the connection and dispose of it. So that's the read portion. At this point, you can guess that an update is probably really similar, and you'd be right. We create the SQLite connection, create a command, and open the connection, create our SQL with a parameter, load up the command with the parameters, and finally execute it. And we close and dispose of the connection. It's as simple as that. The delete is really exactly the same structure. It's just a different command. So if you know SQL, you now know how to work with SQLite. So let's see that in action. I'll create the database from the asset. And you remember the prove it did the read. So it reads the database, and we had two rows. Now we'll do an update. And you can see that the data and the rows changed. And we'll do a delete. And we have just one row at this point. So all our operations have worked. Now, as you might expect, we'd prefer to work with objects than every time we have a button click putting together these connections and data commands. And indeed, there is a nice little SQLite Object Relational Mapper, or ORM, that we can use. And we'll take a look at that in the next lesson, and then we'll be working with objects instead of raw database code.